Barracks is west of the Highlands. If you're looking for the Slab King, that's where it'll be. Now be careful though. He kind of lost it after Hyperion killed his dog. There we go. So the Slab King is again an area that's connected. Well, Thousand Cuts is an area connected to the Highlands, but we're here for something else. We're back in Overlook. And Overlook is also the area where the bar of the Zaffords is located. So we're going to kick off that clan war that Ali's been talking about right now. So we um, blew up the Hodung's landmark. So the giant wheel, we blew that up. And we blew up the distillery of the Zaffords clan. But we uh, kind of put the blame on them, well, each other. And now we can actually get into the Holy Spirits to, well, answer Zaffords call and start this clan war. This is also the smallest area in the game, I think, because this is um, just a bar, so it's not that big. It has a few of the vending machines, but that's basically it. So uh, let's go to the bar itself and talk to Mike, well, Mick Zafford himself. Hey, Mick. 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 There we go. Ah, a new recruit. Welcome to the Zafford family. You didn't see the bastard who destroyed my distillery, did you? No, we didn't. Let me get you a drink. Okay, get me a drink. Where's he going? I think I'm in his way. There we go. I'm in his way. Look at all these bandits over here. You know, I blew up your distillery. Do you still have booze? Damn it! It's dry! Those hodons destroyed my distillery! I, I thought That's we knew that it. already. The truth is off! You, Vault Hunter, let's talk! There we go, so let's turn that in. You've sparked the war between the Zaffords and the Hodungs. Only one question remains. Who will you side with in the end? So we can choose between a few guns, but I don't really care about that. So fast cars, rednecks, explosions, just another day on Pandora. You gonna help me get them Hodung bastards? Good. If there's anything they love more than getting to second base with their sisters, it's cars. I want you to get out there and ruin their race. Come into me basement. Excuse me? You picked the right family in this war, boyo. Ages back, one of the Hodunks drowned a few Zafford boys in the creek bed. After an ex-Hodunk killed me boy Lucky a few years back, we made a truce. But after what happened to our distillery, it sounds like the war's back on. Sounds like it is, buddy. Uh, I have nothing to do with that. So now we have to follow him, which is, of course... Considering the AI in this game, not, not that easy to do. But after a while, he manages to get down the stairs, punch in the code to his uh, secret door, because I can't open that door. And we can get in here, and there's a gun cabinet over here. I'm just gonna, yeah. Just gonna Why check that out. And sell uh, the gun that I got from him immediately. And there we go, so we can pick up another batch of explosives. These people all, all give us explosion uh, explosives. I'll be up at the bar if you need me. And this is why I wanted to do this first, because this also puts us back to the dust. So back in the dust, we can get two quests for the price of one, because you saw the moonshine already. And that's something we want. Mars is giving you Ruby if you give her my pose? Friggin', that bimbo lost Ruby years ago and I found it! She wouldn't even have it if it weren't for me! No, no, no. Bring me the booze! And I'll give you one of my old sniper rifles. Well, Mord Mordecai, I mean, I really like the, the Ruby gun because it's, it's, it's a really funny gun and I don't wanna, want you guys to miss that. So we're probably going to go for that. Just gonna ride around the bed because I think the moonshine is gone again. Moxie ever tell you who she's done me for? Huh? Jack! I win the underdog, I find Ruby, and bam! She drives me for the biggest fascist Pandora's ever seen! Hey, until he set all those people on fire, Jack seemed like a pretty nice guy. It's not my fault Mordecai was more interested in plucking his bird's feathers than plucking my... Damn it, I'm so angry, I can't even come up with a sexy- You got them all! Oh, I love bring the dialogue. Me, and I'll give you my rifle! No, no. Bring the booze to me instead of that alcoholic bird lover, and I'll give you Ruby. I mean, this bird just died, Moxie, and I... I love the innuendos in this game. I mean... 
I mean, he, he's he's a bird lover. Huh? Got it? Got it? Likes to play with his bird. Oh, God. And she was feeling neglected. And nobody neglects a woman like Moxie. So she went with Handsome Jack. That's another revelation. I think we knew that already, that she was with Jack. But we didn't know that she was uh, with Mordecai before that. And she dubbed Mordecai for Handsome Jack. But she actually brings up a good point that... Handsome Jack might have been a nice guy before he burned people alive. That, which sounds really bad now that I think about it. But uh, since he's one of the playable characters in, well, his double is, uh, in uh, the pre-sequel, you can actually see another side of him if we eventually manage to play that instead of this. The Hodungs do one of these races every so often. I want you to place them charges on the fireworks they leave around the track. When they set off the fireworks, it'll make for some proper violence. So there we go, we need to sabotage the explosives. What I was wanting to say was that uh, once Borderlands 3 comes out, I'm going to start playing that all as well, which might actually be around the time that this episode comes out. But uh, we're going to play that as well. And once we're done with Borderlands 2, we might even do the pre-sequel as well. But it will all depend on how popular this series is and if people actually want to see me do that. But Borderlands 3 is definitely on the agenda. So the first piece of explosives, the first piece of fireworks is over here. We can actually, I'm just going to put the car a bit further. So that I don't waste any more time spending uh, driving all the way back or hey, walking all the way back. There? Double checking all the fireworks? That's cool, man. I already done that. Thanks, though. You're welcome, pyrotechnician. I'm just check <gasps> checking that they go off really, really well with a big... Big bang. Now that the dynamite's ready, head up to where the Hodunks got their pyrotech set up. It'll be a great place to watch the destruction. So I think that's up there with the weapons chest. I'm gonna just pull back a bit. And oh that might actually explode my car, but you know what? We'll we'll get you know no 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 no. No no. Because otherwise I'm gonna have to walk all the way back. So I'm just gonna put the car forward a bit. Like a bit a bit further. So just over here in the corner, so it doesn't get hit by the explosion. Kill that pyrotech! No witnesses! <clears throat> okay. But they they come do. through! Keep away unless you want to let up here. Shake. Come to wish me luck when I set off those fireworks? Man, when those dudes drive by and are all like, Now when I hit the fireworks and it's like kaboosh! And the ladies are all like, yeah, it just never gets better than that! Except that one time I tied two cats together and used them like a skipping rope. Blood and fur everywhere! Goodbye, buddy! I loved your dialogue, though. Oh. There we go. Just gonna whack him in the face. It's time, hold on. Three, two, one. So now they're gonna do a race. Okay. So once they're all up here... So they're coming around the bend. There they are. Keep your eyes on the bridge, racing fans. You're about to see some sweet ass jumps. I'm gonna have to wait because I'm gonna be able to explode the them all. The the fireworks. Prepare for Ah, uh, boom! So you can't really kill all of them in one go. So now we need to get into the our own vehicle and chase them all off. So the race cars are really fragile, so we don't really have a problem taking them out. We just need to catch up to them. There we go. Oh, hey. Good job, sweetheart. I saw those explosions from here. Get back to my garage and we'll see if we can't help those hodunks get some revenge for their messed up race track. There we go. First part of the clan war proper is complete. And I would just need to get out of this place somehow. So, back at Ali's place, let's just drive up in style. And uh, have a little chat with her, what her next plan is to uh, turn the fight into the favor of the Hodings for once. After this red harvest between the two clans, you're going to be the last man standing with a fistful of dollars. Yo, Jimbo. So, let's... This is a planet-wide echo requesting we strong, loyal soldiers who don't ask too many questions. Help the Hodung family defeat the Zephyr Cousins! There we go, so we get another uh, call from the Hodings this time, and uh, we can help them out in the dust as well. But we can assign another skill point, so we're going through, uh, well, 
filling up the skill points on follow through so let's do just that and one more skill point i think we'll be able to get like the wind so while moving you deal increased melee damage and gun damage which is going to stack on top of everything else as well so moving on so back in the hodunk speedway we can see uh well the two main characters of the hodunk family rolling around here tector hodunk and jimbo hodunk so let's have a little chat with him the Hodungs are ready to make their next move against the Zaffords, are you? Now on you go out out and get it with a bee now. Pa wants your help waging war on those puke green Zaffords. You're gonna clean out their cash stash for us. We got a dead drop out in the highlands with all the details. Go get it! Okay, buddy. So out in the highlands again, so we need to go there now. So it's a bit of a run around, but uh, we'll get to there eventually. Um, but we'll get to it. I mean, of course, we're going to do that immediately because Overlook is easy accessible and the, uh, well, the bar is easy accessible as well. Just a few steps away from the spawn point. So let's just go into the Holy Spirits and get to the dead drop. So the dead drop is on the upper floor of the bar and it's right over here underneath that floorboard. Yep, there we go. So let's listen to it. Hearts, stars and horseshoes. The Zafford's got a secret cash stash around here, but we ain't sure where. Their bagman leaves the Zafford bar every so often. Paul wants you to tail him to the stash, then rob the place. But don't get too close to him. So yes, Borderlands actually has an, well, a tailing mission. We need to slowly look where the bagman is. Steve. We don't really need Steve. That's the bouncer. That's an overlooked citizen who is, of course, now cured. More citizens. So I'm going to have to take a look at who the bagman actually is. Are you the bagman? Is that a bag? You're carrying a bag, but it doesn't look like you're the bagman. So this is probably... I got that man with a gun in there. That there's the bagman. Follow him to the cash stash, but don't get too close. Okay, follow the bagman undetected. Don't get so close, man. Bloody Hodon's been trying to kill us for years. Kept saying that school the fellow who killed Lucky ain't part of their family anymore. But we know the real truth, don't we, voice in me head? Ha! Good joke, voice in me head. You always know just what to say. <laughs> Am I being followed? Nah, <laughs> impossible. Just a few more years of making these trips to the cash dash and maybe Pop will finally love me. I'm a much better son than Lucky. I'm sprightly, I'm more talkative, and I wasn't buried alive in a shallow grave. One of my best qualities, that is. I agree, voice in me head. So there we go. The bagman is a bit crazy. The cash stash now. I can't wait to get inside and not be ambushed. That's my favorite part of these trips, really. Not getting followed and ambushed. There we is go. Anybody there? Oh, baby, that's the cash. Wax that bagman and take what they got. So there's the bagman. He has no idea where we are. So I'm just gonna pop him in the back. And there we go. Let's just do this. They're after me money. And execute him. Oh, did he just disappear? Oh, he did. It's weird to have a fight without music, but there we go. And... Oh. God damn it. He got me there. But he's gonna die as well. There we go. And we get the Bagman's Key. The Zephyr Bagman's Key used to unlock the back door to the secret... Oh, get that. That's where that went. Ooh, what a gold. Just gonna check Paul this first. You can open all them cash boxes now that you got the bag man's key. So pot a gold. The recharge rate is worse, the recharge delay is worse, but the capacity is a bit higher. And Blarney, I say this. Blarney, chance to drop money when damaged. I'm not gonna equip that because it's kinda useless, but it's a cool shield. And there we go. So let's grab all the money. All the money in the world. That's gonna get us some badass ranks as well, I might imagine. Because we're just gathering all the money. So that's nine, and there's the last one. There we go. All the stashes complete. I hear something in the background, but it's probably a radio somewhere. So let's use the key to unlock this thing. You messed up the Zaffer cash stash, huh? That's great. I hear they're planning something pretty ugly to get back at those hodons. 
Thanks for helping me out with this, by the way. My ma always says I wouldn't survive an all-out clan war between these idiots. I guess part of me wanted to prove her wrong. Look at that, a beefed up explosive spike shield. So a lot of capacity, but sadly it's worse on the recharge rate and delay, which is more important to me right now. It does do spike damage on melee attackers, but for now I don't think that's too big of a problem. So that's another purple though. We're really getting really lucky with the, the loot spawns in these uh, videos. So uh, let's get out of here. So with that done, we can actually turn that in at the Hodunks, which are still right here. Rolling from one side of their little speedway to the other. So let's uh, get that with Jimbo. Hello Jimbo, there we go. Collect I'm that shotgun. Good things kill in trees. Consumes three ammo per shot and fires as quick as you can pull the trigger. Meet with my man out in the dust. He'll give you the details. So there we go. We need to get back to Zaffir's next. But uh, I'm going to go to Sanctuary instead. Because uh, we want to... Although... No, right. Wait, we can do that right here. Because it's Steve, I remember. It's Steve. And Steve is... Steve is great. Steve is a staple of the community. So let's have a little chat with Steve. There he is. Because uh, you want to hear this. You want to hear what he has to say. He has some wonderful words. Hello! Hello! There we go. I love that. Everybody loves that, right? Steve's AO, that's just great. Mick Zafford wants the dust to run red with Hodung blood. They killed my boy. The Hodung sent some hit to track my boy Peter to our cash stash, and then they murdered him like an animal. Never hurt a soul, he didn't. There's only one thing to do. Burn their trailers to the ground. Do it after sundown. I want to see their flaming homes burning against the midnight sky. Get going. There we go. We need to burn down the Hoden trailer park, which we'll do later on. But uh, for now, since it's not night anyway, I might as well go to Sanctuary first and uh, turn in the Arachaholic quest. So, as I said, I want to complete the Rackaholics quest with Moxie since I want to have, well, I don't want to support Mordecai's uh, alcohol habit. So I'm just going to give the, the boost to Moxie since she can actually make some coin from that. And she can give us Ruby, which is a great gun, so let's get that. Here's Ruby. Treat her well. There we go. The potent Ruby. 218 damage with corrosive effect. High elemental effect chance consumes 2 ammo per shot. And whenever I'm caught between two evils, I take the one I've never tried. My so, a great replacement for the corrosive gun we're already using, the one we got from Tina, which is exactly why I wanted to have it, because it's uh, more than double the damage. It does use two uh, shots per, but the corrode damage is also higher and the corrode chance is a lot higher as well. So, let's equip that instead of the assault rifle. There we go. The potent ruby. Look at that. Look at that lovely gun. Isn't that something to smile at? Hmm, there's another purple gun available in the shop. The twin repeater, so highly effective versus shields. But consumes two ammo per shot, but the magazine is actually good enough to hold that. So, we'll just buy that. We'll equip that later on. And, ooh, that's also not bad, but... I'm gonna have to check out the rest first. So, since we can't get to the Hodunks trailer park just yet, since we need to be there at night, we're gonna go back to the fridge and fire up ourselves a few uh, tunnel rats. And we need to collect flowers for Lainey, for Scooter, if you remember that. So Scooter's ex-girlfriend has been brainwashed and Scooter's just a worried man, a very worried man. Just gonna throw my uh, electric black hole grenade over there. There we go. That just basically kills everything, doesn't it? Oh wow, this scope is really inaccurate. I'm just gonna fire it in burst. Although is it, it is a Hyperion gun, so it does fire more correctly every single time. And I think this is... Yeah, the nudie mags. There we go. There's a badass rack flying around here as well. Where is it? There it is. Oh, it's going for the rat, okay. Killed the rat, and I killed it. There we go, and there's another... Nude magazine behind here, I think. There we go. We're picking up the nude magazines first. Because priorities. Priorities. 
So as you can see, we don't get a lot of experience for killing those rats since we're pretty overleveled for this area by now. For most of the side quests we actually will be because we kind of pass the point where it's uh, more important to level up. I think that's, yeah, that's where the last nude magazine is. There we go. Scoot is going to be happy for that because that's his backup plan if we don't manage to uh, help out Lainey. He might just, uh, well, get busy with... Uh, the nudie max, I don't need to make make more fuss out of that than that is, right? So the flowers, I think, are supposed to be down here somewhere, although I'm gonna have to find them first. Aha, there they are. So they're the spiky flowers over here. I can see one on the other side as well. There we go. I'm just gonna take out the chrysalis. I can do that with the Jacob shotgun just fine. Oh god. Ghosting. As long as I don't die because of all of this. And then I need to melee the, the final one. There we go. Because these guys are really vulnerable for melee attacks. And the flowers all seem to be to the sides here. So I'm going to prioritize those. Come on. Thank you. Then there's more where that came from. Just going to do this. Oh, wow. Well... Just gonna reload that. Oh, there we go. Ooh, wow, these guys really hurt, but I think that's because of the shocking cactus that was in the way. And there we go, we killed five crystalisks for the quest there as well. God damn it, those, those guys were annoying as well. Get down here. Nope. Where's the other one? Where'd they come from? There they are. I think there's one more. There we go, just keep shooting. And there we go. Ooh, there's way more than that. I think I can actually collect that Ford flower over here. And then there's one in the middle there. That's gonna be enough flowers for Lainey, right? Come on. Gimme, give gimme. Give there we go. Oh, collect food for Lainey. For fuck's sake, get off. So the food are slices of pizza. Stop craving human flesh as soon as she smells them slices. Why would anyone ever be a cannibal so long as pizza exists? Thought there was one up here. Oh, there they are. So pizza over here. Which is actually interesting because the pizza is of course uh, packed in a box that has Moxie on it. Ah, Moxie is uh, Scooter's mother. <gasps> nope. Okay, I kind of missed that one. I don't know how to reach that. So I think if I go all the way back up, I can actually reach the platform with the final piece of pizza. Which is supposed to be right below me, I think. Damn, this is going to be anno more annoying than I thought. There we go. No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. I got it. Looks like you got what you need to unbrainwash, Lainey. That's a word now. Unbrainwashed. We're definitely going to try and do that, Scooter. But I don't know if it's going to work. Let's just swap back over to the fire SMG. <gasps> And get to killing some more tunnel rats. There we go. That's one. Ooh, what was that? That was shiny. All those guns that dropped from that guy. Oh, yeah, because I think tunnel rats and thieves actually pick up loot from the ground, which is why there was so many loot, because he picked up all the weapons I kept leaving around. Which is, uh, yeah, something I wasn't able to show you just yet. So unbrainwash Lainey by uh, putting down the flowers and pizza slices. There we go. Perhaps I was wrong to join the rats. That's my girl. I knew you'd come back to me sooner or later. What's that, Scooter? Why do you think I fled here? It was the only place Scooter would not follow me with his stupid advances. There we go. If Scooter sent you, you must die. There we go. Let's use the shock grenades to get rid of her shields and then just murder the hell out of her. Goodbye, lady. Ow. Uh, easier for everybody that way, see? Uh, still we tried. Throwing grenade. <laughs> there we go, a bunch of midgets down as well. Don't know where those came from. Um, and that's ba- Oh, Jesus. Nope, that's not basically a bloody. Ow. There we go. Goodbye, brothers. And shock sniper. What's your name? Creepy. Yes, I killed shields. There we go. 
You saw him picking up a few items there, because that, that's a cool mechanic, actually, that they can actually do that. Because I think they're, they're even able to uh, equip those guns if they want to. So they can basically upgrade their own arsenal. Yeah, I'm not going to find any better uh, grenade mods right now, because I think my... Uh, Shocking Singularity Grenade is just the bomb. Next time on Borderlands 2, we go down a big hole. Oh, what the? There goes the safe. Curse us! Those idiots dropped my safe into the caustic caverns. Get after it!